Welcome back to South Park the Fractured Bud Hole. You made a real mistake when you attacked us. We're gonna be going to do a whole bunch of things today, make some solid progress on the storyline, but first we gotta beat up these raisins girls because they got some beef and they were talking mad smack about my boy Mosquito on friggin' Coonstagram. You should see the mean tweets they've been saying about him. So we're gonna go ahead and put them right in their place. Man, the android has some solid attacks, like being able to do that is wild, and also being able to go twice and do that and hit like 3-4 enemies at once, absolutely insane. This is no way to treat your server. Hey, don't worry, after dinner I'll still leave a tip, I'm a gentleman. Wow, that's the toxicity all you gentlemen love, you know, that love-hate relationship. Yeah, she hits me, but she loves me, so you know, it's okay. No, that's not okay, fellas, stay away from that. Get yourself a nice burrito instead. That'll make you happy. And it won't let you down. No matter what you put in there, for the most part, it's gonna be excellent. Oh my god, I just figured out why it's called Raisins, guys. Oh, that's messed up. So funny, but that's messed up, bro. Oh my god. And just like that, time to finish off these Raisin Girls with our cool Terminator-style alt. Well, rest in peace, you tried to jump us in an alleyway, so I don't feel bad one bit. And I'm not leaving a tip just for that. You really think you're tough shit, don't you? Well, it's time for you to meet someone. Say hi, Rebecca. I'm gonna break you in half and stick you up my butt. Ooh, sounds like a hot date. Don't tempt me now, Rebecca. Someone's about to get stuffed someplace dark and smelly. Dang, those rolls gotta smell like the swamp that Shrek lives in, bro. Wow, I thought that was gonna kill me. Maybe because this part you can't really fail, I suppose, but I thought that that would definitely cause me to fail. Oh my god, oh my god. what? A thousand people just disliked the picture of me and ballet clap on Instagram. I'm totally getting trolled right now. What the F? Heather, why'd you tweet that I was going out with Eric Cartman? I didn't! I'm totally getting trolled right now, too! What the fuck? What the fuck? I just lost all my followers! I have to get to a computer! What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello, new kid. Don't worry, I'm unfriending their Instagrams exponentially. They won't be back for a while. You gotta be careful playing superhero. You can make a lot of enemies. Some boys think girls don't make good superheroes. But then, you know all about being excluded, don't you? Is that why your parents are hiding you? Because your gender doesn't fit in with the norm? You like to remain mysterious, huh? Fine. Look, you've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. There's a crime boss who's been calling the shots here in South Park, and now that person is planning to run for office. Whatever you did last night scared him. I'm tracking everyone's Instagrams and Facebooks and will continue to cross-reference with Tumblr while monitoring Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need information, just know you can rely on Call Girl. Watch your back, non-gender kid! Oh, I can't wait to unlock Call Girl. Her abilities are actually really good. Definitely recommend having her on your team for sure. I like that she can attack at any range, too, on the board, which is really nice. I think we get her relatively soon in this story. Oh, see, they still talking smack on Coonstagram, bro. Oh, we gonna show them what's up real quick. Every Raisins girl we see, we gonna beat them senseless every time. We can't, we gotta stand up for Mr. Mosquito Man. Too bad, new kid. Miners aren't allowed in a place like that. Of course, you aren't just any miner. Hey, yeah, you see that stranger's car? Why don't you go real close to the trunk for me real quick? Yeah, nothing fishy about that. Oh, yeah. All right, at least it's the recipe and not the actual food item itself, not just sitting in a hot car baking in the, <laughs> in the trunk. That'd be pretty funny, though. Well, as much as I don't want to, might as well get this toilet out of the way, I guess. I skipped past it last time. Mustard gas. All right, we got some World War One lethal kind of farts right here. That's crazy, bro.
you know, it's going to suck. I don't remember what toilets I've all done and I haven't. And I don't know which ones I've gotten mastery on. I, I don't know if it tells you when you go up to the toilet or not, or if it shows you if you've gotten mastery. So we're going to have to figure that out right after too, or I guess like right at the end. Well, now we're going to head over to Human Kites here and go rescue him from Alternate Universe Human Kite. And I think we have to fight Sheila too, Kyle's mom, Mrs. Bro what What's his last name? Brovlowski, something like that. Anyways, we got an interesting fight in our hands coming up next. Thanks for coming. Over here. Dang, Kyle just got a mad hate on for his cousin. I wonder what the reason is. Like, is there a lore behind that, or is it just because he's annoying? In the backyard. I'm big. Will you deal with him, please? Look, cousin Kyle, it's that mean kid who beat me up before. Yeah, oh no, somebody stop him. Don't worry, Cousin Kyle. I have developed these super sensors which will make it almost impossible for him to beat us up this time. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. Have you ever watched the show uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? I swear, Kyle sounds just like the character Blue in that show. If you've never seen it as a kid or an adult or you didn't grow up with it, whatever, it is a absolutely hilarious show that I recommend you watch. It's a gooder on the, uh, I think it was on Teletoon? Or was it YTV? I don't know. Either way, anyways, Cartoon Network. It was really good. And uh, there's this funny episode where there's this, they're all imaginary creatures anyway, and one is called Cheese, and he's obsessed with chocolate milk. If you want to get a gauge for how the show is just watch the cheese episode of foster's home for imaginary friends and you'll laugh your butt off but yeah i definitely think kyle sounds just like blue like what do you think i think he sounds pretty similar man well at least i can get all these defenses down and then just have everybody swarm him overwhelm him and get him done as quickly as possible that way we don't take much damage from his like crazy lightning attacks because then i believe sheila steps in after we beat the brakes off him all right, time to start putting some damage on you, buddy. Get you out of the way as quickly as possible. That way we can fight Sheila, and then we're going to have to target her real quick. I also think we lose Kyle, too, I'm pretty sure. If I'm remembering correctly, I think Kyle goes to their side because it's his mom. So I think if we just defeat Sheila, we don't have to worry about him, and uh, also alternate human kite as well. Oh, this guy's done right away. I think one more turn. I don't know if the knockback will get him, but if not, next turn he's done. Bro has the ultimate move right there. Nothing else beats Colin and Madre. That's kind of funny. Also, if you listen to the background music here, it's the Car it's the song by Cartman, the Kyle's mom is a, you know. Anyways, that song plays in the background, just the, the like theme of it. It's pretty funny. Oh, that's solid. Now she'll have burn damage too. She was going to go down in no time. I'm going to try and get her with Mosquito too. To heck with that. These boys need to lend some manners. Yeah, Sheila. You're going to come in my backyard and disrespect my family? I will fucking destroy you! I mean, she kind of has the right. I, I agree. She kind of, you know, she, she in the right here, really. Bro, Sheila's got to have some power. <laughs> that flying knee to the noggin. Oh my god, I'm surprised <laughs> Mosquito doesn't have a concussion. Hey, you, it right you know what, Kyle? What if I use your kite to wipe? How about that, buddy? 
Well, I did, and now she's burned and shocked. Sheila is done skis, 100%. Yeah, you go have you a nap, Sheila. You, you go, you should go take some weight off. Go relax. You know, that was a good workout. Huh? Are you okay? Nice going, guys. Kyle, get inside and call the police. We have to get these kids arrested. No, no, Mom. No police. This is all my fault. What? Look, it's just... I, I couldn't take my cousin copying everything I do. The human kite is about saving people, not about Judaism. And now look at all the damage you've caused. I should press charges against your friends. And look my kite up in a tree. I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh boy, Kyla and Sheila says I get to play with you. Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! Now get your cousin's kite out of that tree. You're not playing anymore until you do. Come on, Shugana. Let's get you some Bactine. Oh, I hate Bactine because it gets on my fingers and I get eczema from the lidocaine. Well, hey, you know what? In the end, at least it all worked out. Now we just gotta get this kite down, which is also now the time where we unlock the summon to use these little windmilly things that we can go up in high places with the help of human kite anyways. And it's gonna be nice because there's a lot of items and secret things and puzzles that you need this ability to do. So it's kind of nice that it hands it to you, basically. Time to do some fart core. Wow, your ass is full of surprises. I wonder if it has a smell or not, because he doesn't seem to be complaining. Yeah, I agree. That's pretty gnarly. Imagine seeing that, just some kids farting up in the air. It'd be pretty crazy, honestly. Oh, it's selfie time, you guys. I like how there's no beef. We're all buddies now. We're all good. See, look at that nice, wholesome picture to end it all off. Even though we're the antagonist, I guess, now we're the protagonist. After our selfie with the alternate universe human kite, we're going to go ahead and go to the mayor's office because I completely forgot we were asked to go there and we were told not to make her wait, so we better get on in. Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please, find out who is behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. I want a full report on this crime fighter, AIDS. This kid's going places. Well, you know what? Thank you for having faith in me and believing in me, unlike everybody else in my life. So that's a nice positive change. What a nice mayor. I'll definitely be voting for you again. Now, I find it interesting. This guy here refuses to selfie with me. Awesome. Yowie. Reaching for love. What a sweet title. So I'm going to try this. Buddy wouldn't selfie with me, but I selfied with the mayor. Will you do it now? I love engaging in social media activities. It's so important. Oh, okay. Perfect. Now we're good to go. Now we're buddies. All right get this other guy and now we're gonna go ahead and meet up with none other than the pc principal himself the man the myth the legend the ethnic now warrior i'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity i wasn't insulting him excuse me did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired yes he's my friend i said paulo you look tired microaggression ah, ah, ah. persons of hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand but I am tired. Oh, oh, uh. You! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. This is one of the best and funniest characters in South Park. Changed my mind. This guy's hilarious. Come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. So I think we just have to pay attention to what he says and make sure we hit him when it's appropriate to do so, whenever there's like some sort of slander or slang used. So here we go. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. You know what? I also had a hamburger last right, week. That was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, microaggression. About to happen. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man, this guy's the best. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression. 
hit him. Oh, oh. Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards a person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. My pants are warm too, bro. I gotta put some shorts on. That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I don't know who Tim Sherman is. I heard it's going to rain. You know what? I hope so. I very much like the rain. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression. Hit him. Nice kid. Very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Hey, well that's awesome. You know I gotta get a selfie with this legend. 100%. Remember kid, people use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. We moving up in the world. More responsibility, I'm brother. I express my willingness to follow you on social media. Do you consent? All right, now it is time to continue onwards with our mission and get all the ingredients needed for our crafting recipe that we were given by Morgan Freeman in that sketchy little car trunk. So we basically need to go into City Walk and purchase a little shrimp thing, I do believe. So we're going to go on in and see what it's all about. I have new items straight from the Orient. You here for a job on child labor force? Thank you for order. Hey, just what we needed. Perfect. I couldn't remember where it was, so I'm glad I decided to come here. I couldn't really remember what I was after. I was just kind of like looking through buildings randomly, and I just kind of so happened to be completing my mission objectives to... Oh, another Yowie. Oh, hey, you know what? Might as well go in here and talk to Jimbo. I think he loses his uh, wallet at the Peppermint Hippo, and if so, we're going to go get it for him, if we can do that right now. I was out last night at the Hippo and lost my wallet. If you find it, I'll give you a reward. All right, perfect. We'll definitely do that for you, Jimbo. But first, we're going to get this moldy cheese here needed for the ingredient. Now, I'm hoping that we can do this without having to fight the six raiders that are chilling. But knowing South Park and the way this game is, yeah, we're probably going to end up having to fight, which is unfortunate. Watch this guy will aggro me. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, whatever. You know what? We'll just take him down. We'll get up. We'll get the cheese. And then we'll go ahead and head to the Peppermint Hippo and we'll grab Jimbo's wallet. And then we'll bring him back. And then we get a really cool summon, which is really nice. I find it interesting that the summons only have like a certain amount of uses. And then that's it, they're all gone. Kind of crazy. I'm also really glad that saving is actually working for me. See, last time I ended up losing a few hours of progress. Like, I finished a mission for Classy or something like that. Anyways, basically what ended up happening was the game went to autosave, right? And it shows that little yellow icon in the bottom right corner. And it just would not disappear. So I kept on doing missions just to see, you know, if maybe it would allow it to progress and save. But no, it wouldn't. And because it was autosaving, I couldn't manually save either. So basically I was screwed. I couldn't save the game. I'm glad I decided not to continue because it just would have been for nothing. Or I would have had to finish the game all in one night, which would have taken so long. Because I think this game takes like 12 hours or something. It actually has a pretty long storyline, which is pretty awesome for a South Park game. You gotta admit, they put in a lot more work than a lot of other people did. You gotta admit that for sure. So basically, we're gonna get rid of these guys, get up on the roof, and then we're gonna go from there. be pretty wild seeing kids just scrapping all over town in superhero costumes or just grade six kids being their natural selves, which is dicks. But you know, that's how it goes anyways. Hey, Fast Pass's ability still cracks me up every time, man. I love watching them run. It's so funny. Like, how does he even run with those little, you know, those crutches, man? Bro's got talent. He's been working on it, you know? And now with this fire damage, this fight is in our hands. We're going to get this done real soon. All right, now we can continue onwards with the mission. Thank God they're out of the way. I don't think that they ever respawn at all, and I think I can use Captain Diabetes to push over that little part over there. So I don't think we have to worry about these guys being here every time we come by, which is super nice. Thank God it's a one time and done. So now we're going to go ahead and use our newly found ability with Mr. Human Kite to get ourselves up on the roof with this fart core. Just some random kid chilling up here. How did bro even get up here? I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that there's some roof access or something. I'm going to take a picture with you, steal your weird old cheese that you just have sitting there fermenting next to you, and you're just sitting there inhaling the fumes, bro. Crafted, new kid. Just like I taught you. 
you know what? Anything you say, Morgan Freeman, I believe in you, brother. You got my back. I got yours. I'm going to make this wonderful creation right here. It looks absolutely delicious. And now we can continue onwards with the story mission, which is fantastic. But before we do, we're going to go ahead and get Jimbo his wallet. And then, uh, yeah, go from there pretty much. Remember Barry? F oh, okay. I don't recall what that's for. I mean, it kind of says, but I don't remember what it relates to or interesting i wonder i guess we'll see later on anyways now when you do go into the peppermint hippo buddy's wallet is literally just chilling at this table here like it's right there i i can't even tell you like there was one time i went in there and i was just super blind and i was looking around forever trying to find it and i was like where's this guy's wallet so i youtube did only to discover i'm just blind i don't even wear contacts or glasses bro i just can't see i got man eyeballs as they say i guess and you know what it must be true i've had hearing tests and vision tests done for jobs and stuff and my stuff's always perfect but then i come home and my girlfriend would tend to disagree for sure it's kind of funny though to think about but yeah anyways i got those man eyeballs i'm looking for ketchup in the fridge i can't see it it's right in front of me you know the struggle holy crap you found it listen here vigilante if you're ever in trouble you give me a net a holler and we'll shoot the shit out of whatever's bothering you well howdy there new kid what, what can i do you for all right so now we're gonna take a selfie with jimbo now that we can and then we're gonna end today's episode here i will see you in the next one where we continue through the south park story and uncover some dastardly secrets i look forward to you joining me along the way and i will see you there